Welcome to module 1 deploying exchange server. It is necessary to know before deploying the exchange server what is exchange and what are the benefits it can provide us. So let's see what is exchange server. Exchange server is a Microsoft on-premises messaging solution that provides several benefits such as protection of organization data. Consider an organization where you have an email system and suddenly you started receiving uh, spams, threats and malwares in your email. Do you think the organization data is safe? No, it is not. But Exchange Server can provide you with this protection. It can protect your data with the threat such as theft, malware and spam. And even apart this you have a data loss prevention policies capabilities where you can restrict a user to send a sensitive information outside your organization and of course it protect and encrypts uh, all the data to the various compliance standards the next one is continuous availability of messaging system this is an important factor suppose you have a business which operates 24 hours a day and you have a messaging system that fails for one hour or two that means there is an interruption in a business operation so exchange provide you high availability of messaging system with DAG you can create a high availability of this messaging system and you can get the availability for 24 hours a day and for long time the role based access control role based access control controls that who can access what data and who can perform which task and the role based access control with defined security permissions for different administrative teams is the most proven and the effective way of managing a messaging infrastructure the fourth one is compliance to policies and regulations every messaging system should have compliance policies and regulations and it is very useful when it comes to uh, assessments and the investigation retention of important data every messaging system should have this retention of important data and you should uh, retain the important data for the long period of time and yes exchange does have this capability support for multiple types of devices exchange help you to connect with any kind of devices to access your email so guys these are the some solution provided by the exchange server let us also know what is new in exchange server 2019 the changes from Exchange Server 2016 to Exchange Server 2019 includes protection of organization data. We have already discussed this. Modern hardware support. Exchange Server 2019 now supports up to 256 gigabyte of memory and 48 central processing unit CPU cores. Windows Server Core support. Now you can install Exchange Server 2019 on Windows Server Core 2019 and this configuration is more secure because it minimizes the attack surface area and ensure deployment of fewer components on the server. Metacache Database The Exchange Server Database engine has been improved to enable better overall performance and in addition to the currently recommended JBot drives, the Exchange Server Database engine now works on storage uh, that is a combination of solid uh, state drives and JBot drives. Dynamic Database Cache The information store process dynamic memory cache allocation where memory is optimized for the active database usage. Improved Search Architecture this has been a completely rebuilt for the cloud scale and reliability in Exchange Online and it is also available in Exchange Server 2019 and this improvement allowed for indexing for a large kind of files and simpler management and better search performance. Faster, more reliable failovers. The changes to search architecture result in significantly faster and more reliable failovers between the servers. This is the feature which controls external access to the Exchange Admin Center and the Exchange Management Shell. You can use client access rules to increase security when managing the Exchange Server 2019 environment and only allow administration of Exchange Server from the internal network only. Calendar Improvements 
So now you can configure the do not forward feature that forbids attendees to forward the invitation to other people and allow only the organizer to invite additional attendees. Delegate permission support. Now the add folder permission commandlet has been updated so that administrators can assign delegate permissions. Email address internationalization. And this feature supports routing email address that contain non-English characters. So these are the changes made to a new Exchange Server 2019 from Exchange Server 2016. So let us also have a look on the changes from Exchange Server 2013 to Exchange Server 2019. So important changes from Exchange Server 2013 to Exchange Server 2019 includes Client Access Server is no longer as a separate server role. In previous Exchange Server 2013, the Client Access Server was a different role. But now in Exchange Server 2019, the Client Access Server no longer exists as a separate role. In Exchange Server 2019, Client Access Services run on the mailbox server and provide client authentication, redirection and proxy by using the well-known protocols such as HTTP, SMTP, IMAP and POP. Client Traffic Proxying from Exchange Server 2013 to Exchange Server 2019. So when you deploy Exchange Server 2019, you can proxy traffic to and from Exchange Server 2013 to Exchange Server 2019. And this means that you can use your current client access server running on Exchange Server 2013 during the coexistence. Updated and optimized Outlook on the web interface. Now the Outlook on the web interface has been optimized for mobile devices and tablets. And also the Outlook on the web provides full support for iOS and Android clients. And it also improved email functionality and optimized reading pane and ability to uh, undo the mailbox actions. And in addition, Outlook on the web also features a new look for calendar with email reminders, improved search and birthday calendars. Mappy over HTTP as a default client protocol. This protocol is now a default protocol in Exchange Server 2019. And really this improves the stability, performance and reliability of client server communication. And in addition, the Outlook client will not use Mappy over HTTP by default if Exchange Server 2019 is installed in an Exchange Server 2013 organization where Mappy over HTTP is not enabled. Facility for Outlook on the web user to link and share documents that are stored in OneDrive for business or stored in SharePoint. So now when you implement Exchange Server 2019 together with Microsoft SharePoint Server 2019, Outlook on the web user can now link and share their document that are stored in Microsoft OneDrive for business or they can store the file in SharePoint instead of attaching document to email. Facility for the user to edit Word, Excel or PowerPoint files within an email message and this requires Office Online Server. So these were the important changes made from Exchange Server 2013 to Exchange 2019. Also let us get an idea of discontinued and de-emphasized features in Exchange Server 2019. Discontinued features from Exchange Server 2016 are Unified Messaging Role. So this feature is now no longer available in Exchange Server 2019. It was available in 2016 but it is not available in Exchange Server 2019. And if you want this feature, uh, you have to choose a Skype for Business Cloud Voicemail for this. Let's see the discontinued feature from Exchange Server 2013. Client Access Server as we already know that uh, this role is now integrated into the mailbox server role in 2016 and 2019. Mappy over collaboration data objects. This Mappy CDO library is now replaced by Exchange Web Services and Exchange ActiveSync and REST API. De-emphasized feature from Exchange Server 2013 are RPC over HTTP protocol. 
and database availability group support for failover cluster administrative access points. Now also discuss the exchange online versus exchange on-premises. So the main difference between the on-premises exchange versus exchange online is in exchange server on-premises you have to maintain all local installation of exchange server in your data center and you are the responsible for each and everything you are doing in your data center you perform the maintenance you perform the upgrades and all the customization is done by you but in exchange online all of the mailboxes are hosted in the cloud and you do not have to maintain upgrades and any other customization you do not have to host any exchange server in your data center everything will be managed by the Microsoft you receive automatic updates upgrades to the most recent technology so let's get an idea like why organizations are moving to exchange online first reason is cost so organizations considering moving to exchange online is to minimize their cost of an on-premises mailboxes server because the exchange online subscription fee covers all capital and operational licensing patching and most setup cost is bared by the exchange online administration effort so by migrating exchange to online messaging administrators do not need to plan or implement system patches or plan for the managed server failures or any other thing so uh, they get more time for the other projects disaster recovery effort Exchange Online provides standard disaster recovery mechanism uh, which includes data center failovers as well and messaging administrators do not need to build a test environment or regularly prepare for the disasters because the hosted service manages disaster recovery. Flexibility It provides a complete flexibility and you can use Exchange Online to meet demands quickly as business requirement changes and you can also increase or decrease the number of mailboxes almost immediately without needing to plan for a additional hardware environmental friendliness an on-premises exchange server deployment requires that you should have a certain number of physical server available to satisfy your messaging requirements and with exchange online you save the physical space and power required for your messaging servers and so you can decrease your organization's uh, carbon footprints so these were the main reason why the organization are moving to exchange online so guys let's meet in a next video for learning exchange server architecture